It's very important, actually, this topic on the DNA, and I would like to talk about the Genome Project and the claims of the evolutionists on the selfish gene, actually, the so-called selfish gene, and they, also they have claims about junk DNA, because when evolutionists are not able to make any explanation or give any response to a certain mechanism, actually, they say that it's either junk or it's and they cannot really give any explanation to these amazing structures. Because in the scientific world, many of the discoveries are proving that these are very vital structures. For instance, for the appendix, they were claiming that they were so-called useless in the human body. However, it was clearly understood that they had very vital processes, very vital functions in the human body, and because of their ignorance, it was very easy for them to say that those organs or some other systems are not beneficial for a certain organism. However, science rejects all these false claims, because when we look at the findings in the discovery world, uh, discovery, discoveries made by the scientific world, we realized that junk DNA is actually very vital for human life. And in the Genome Project, it was understood that about 50% of the genes that exist on the DNA molecule are used for protein synthesis. And evolutionists were claiming that some of them were selfish genes. However, it was understood that the DNA molecule is interrelated with those parts on the DNA molecule, but they were not used for protein synthesis. And then what evolutionists did is actually, they just claimed that those were so-called junk DNA, they were useless, they were not beneficial at all. There are a total of 3 billion nucleotides. <laughs> they assumed that there were 24,000 genes that were detected uh, in the human cell, and they claimed some of them were so-called junk. It's definitely true that in a manufacturing system, in a factory, there are the ones who work on the production line, but there are some other personnel, some other employees, which are required for the entire manufacturing system. And the genetic information that is found on the DNA, when that is transferred to a child, in the next generation, actually, all the entire DNA molecule is transferred to the next generation. So if the evolutionists are calling the related part junk, actually, that functionless, so-called functionless DNA molecule, according to the evolutionary claims, are again transferred to the offsprings and to the next generation. Now, why are these transferred? And why are these preserved in the DNA molecule? Because they are not junk and because they are not functionless. As I have explained, for instance, in a factory, there are producers, there are wor uh, people working on the manufacture manufacturing line, there are the drivers, there are the logistics providers, and these other employees, they provide the atmosphere, the related environment for production, they prepare the system, and also they set up the entire mechanism for uh, the production. So those parts that are found on the DNA molecule are used for these purposes. So when they do not exist, then the DNA molecule cannot synthesize proteins. So it is vital and definitely requisite that that part on the DNA molecule should definitely exist. And also, the sizes of cells differ, and in each living organism, Cells have uh, different sizes, for instance, in the human body, in the protozoa, also in other plant cells. We know that they have different sizes, they differentiate. And what determines their size is actually the size of the cell's nucleus and also the size of the DNA molecule. And for the DNA molecule to fit in that cell's nucleus, actually, the cell size is also arranged uh, according to that content of the DNA molecule, because if that DNA molecule cannot fit in the cell's nucleus, then it would never be possible to live or carry out its functions. So 
Darwinists again were in a great deadlock. They were again devastated with their false claims because these are not our claims, these are not our arguments. These are put forward and unearthed with the Genome Project itself.